Hello, my lovely subscribers. We're so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers, and I want to sincerely thank you all for your amazing support. Today, I have a short but super useful video for you. I'll be showing you how to send any size file and chat anonymously over the Tor network. So, without further ado, let's get started. For those who don't know Tor network, the Tor network or the Onion router is a system that anonymizes internet traffic by routing it through multiple encrypted nodes, hiding users' identities and locations. It's used to enhance privacy, access censored content, and browse anonymously. Tor also supports hidden services accessible via Onion addresses. While effective for privacy, it can slow down browsing and expose data at the exit node if not encrypted for example HTTPS. It's popular among journalists, activists, and privacy-conscious users, but also associated with dark web activities. Now that you know what the Tor network is, let's dive into today's video. So, for our purpose, we're going to use Onion Share, an open source tool that allows you to securely and anonymously share files, post websites, and chat with friends using the Tor network. You can download Onion Share on Windows or Mac, but for this tutorial, we'll be using Linux. So, let's fire up our Kali Linux and show you how it's done. First things first, you need to update your Kali Linux. If you're not familiar with how to update, you can do it easily using this command. After you update, type onion share in the terminal. Now, I know you haven't installed it yet, but don't worry Kali Linux will automatically prompt you to download it. When you see the prompt asking for confirmation, simply press Y and hit enter. The installation process will begin, and Onion Share will be downloaded and set up on your system. Now, start Onion Share by simply typing Onion Share in the terminal. After a short wait, click Connect to allow it to start connecting to the Tor network. This may take a little time, so be patient. Once connected, you'll see four main options, share file, receive file, host website, and anonymous chat. While all of these are useful, for now, we're going to focus on sending a file. So, go ahead and click the first option, send file. Next, click add to browse for and select the file you want to send. Once you've chosen the file, click start sharing. After a few seconds, Onion Share will generate a link and a private key for you. Now, let's move on to the receiver's side, and for this, we'll be using Windows to receive the file. First, to receive the file, we'll need the Tor browser. It's a great choice for maintaining security and privacy. You can easily download it by searching Tor browser in any search engine. Since I already have it installed, I'll go ahead and open it. After launching the browser, we'll need to wait for it to connect to the Tor network, which may take a moment. After opening the Tor browser, simply paste the link you received from Onion Share into the address bar. After a few seconds, you'll be prompted to enter the private key. Paste the key as well, and you'll gain access to the file. From there, just download it and open it. As you can see, you can send any file you want privately and securely with Onion Share. Now, before we wrap things up, let me quickly show you how to chat anonymously using Onion Share. Let's switch back to our Kali Linux setup and open another tab. This time, click on the Start Chatting option. Just like when sending files, Onion Share will generate a link and a private key for the chat. You can then open the Tor browser, paste the link, and enter the key to join the chat. If you want to chat with multiple people, you can share the link and key with others. Each person can open the link in their own Tor browser, and Onion Share will automatically assign a unique username to each browser. Once everyone has joined, 
you can start chatting anonymously and securely. That's it. I hope you found this short video useful. If you encounter any problems while trying this out, please leave a comment, and I'll do my best to respond. For now, I'll look forward to seeing you next time with another great hacking video. Until then, don't forget to subscribe and like this video.